everybody. Um, I am going to work on my July challenge. If you are signed up for my website newsletter, then you have received the email with the July challenge. And this one was guest hosted by Beth Broadway. And she, her challenge for the month was to create a zine. Now the way she did hers is she brayered paint onto a sheet of paper and then she added some stenciling and then her images and stuff. So I think I don't have a plan. I just know that I really want to play with some new art foamies that I received. And I couldn't figure out how I wanted to apply some paint on my background. So when in doubt, gel plates. <laughs> and also, like I was thinking, I didn't want everything, like I might leave some white space or like I might have a block of color and then something that kind of overlaps it, like, like um, this art foamy pattern. Like I'm imagining like a block of color that's not perfect and then this may like the color may be here and then this may partially go over it and then something else may go over this so it's going to be just who knows what it's going to be. <laughs> we will see. Um, for my paper I am using I know I probably should have got a smaller piece of paper, but I am using this Canson Mixed Media 98 pound paper and it measures 14 by 17 inches. So I'm going to create my background first and then I'll do the folding and whatever else I add to it. So I don't know the name of all the art foamies because I, the only way I'll know is if I go on the art foamies website and do a search and you can do that too. So I'll just link the art foamies website and then you can have a look. But if I know, like I know, I'm pretty certain this is Rebecca Meyer. And maybe that one too. This one is a Balzer Designs. I know that. This is a newer one I got, but I don't know who made it. I don't know if it's KP or not. And then I have tons of Keisha Devonies. I'm gonna finally get to try some of these background ones that she has. And then she has the dolls that I showed before. I think this is Natalie oh, Kelbeck or something. I can't remember her last name. I love this and I haven't used it yet. I don't remember who makes these. Like it's all art foamies, but I love these characters. Love them. So, and just a refresher, like I don't have all of Keisha's dolls out. I just brought out the smaller ones. You've seen me play with these before. Well, the bigger ones anyway, and some of the smaller ones. I have this cool one too that I don't remember who made. So you get a positive and a negative. And I still have my container there from back when I used to be on the Art Foamies design team. So I'm just going to get started. And like I said, I won't be telling you the names of them because I don't know. And I'm just going to play. And I've taken out Dina Wakely's paints because... I don't know. I thought I'd give it a try. I don't play with them enough and I really like the colors. I'm not used to using them or working with them 
and what colors go nice with what. So I guess I will find out <laughs> or make a ugly mess. Now I already have too much paint. I'm out of practice. And I don't want it all perfect like that. So I'm just going to take some bubble wrap. take a little bit of paper towel because I don't want a hard line. Now I'm using an acrylic block from Joggles to mount my gel plate to and that way I can use my gel plate like a stamp which is fantastic. See, I love that grunge from not cleaning my plate. I'm just going to take this one if it's still wet. I know that one is more perfect, but it's small. I have the strong desire to use this one. And. I feel like I want a bold color against it. Tangelo or Rouge. I want Tangelo. I've been dying to use this color. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. I always find if you have problems with a color, it's always in like the red family. Like red and orange and pink. Again, I probably used too much. I still have a bit of the sage on my brayer, so not lovely. I love that color. That is gorgeous. I don't think I'll get much left. It's 
some buff. I'm gonna get out my three by five to use as a palette. Oh, and my other, my square gel plates, one is the three inch and one is the six. Just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna try this one. I didn't zoom in on my work surface because the paper is so huge and I wanted you to also be able to see like off to the side. As I'm playing now, I can picture like um, her midnight, no, marine, like a circle right here. It's too much orange left on my plate, on my brayer, but I do like that. And I turned it. Not that you have to, but I decided to. Still too much of that other color left. And I know I don't normally clean my gel plate, but <laughs> there's Milo. But that tan jello is just showing up on everything. And I don't want everything to be orange. I'm sure you can hear my cat Milo. this so far. Hmm. What do I want? Are you all screaming a color in your head? I'm going to go with elephant and what do I want to add? Maybe that. I'm going to try. There's a big space right here with nothing on it. I love this color. And it was elephant, just in case I said it too quietly. Yep. <laughs> so I'm saying, I don't know why I don't use Dina's paints more. I think I just don't think of it. Because I love a lot of the colors. to 
do things in three, I've noticed. See, the worst part about loving something like this is I'm always afraid to keep going. Afraid I'm going to wreck it. But it's nice that it's been so long since I played and I'm actually liking what I am doing. It makes me want to keep going. Just yay. Why did I buy Blackberry? Why? I'm never going to use it. There is one purple that she has that I like. I think it's eggplant. What do we have? Apricot, carnation, aloe, olive. It's feeling very earthy. might come in later in small bits. What do I want? I think I'm going to add, actually first I think I'm going to go in with a light color. Very like oily. My cats have been so good. We're in the process of trying to sell our house. So whenever there's a viewing, we have to take all three cats and put them in a carrier and drive around until we can come back. And well the first time we had to leave is when we had a stager come because they didn't want anybody in the house including the cats. So we brought them over to my daughter's house and she has a cat and it did not go over well. We were there for hours and it was still not good. Two of my cats just hid away until we got them out when it was time to come home. And then <laughs> my oldest cat Mosby wanted to like own the place. He loved it there. So him and my daughter's cat were kind of fighting for territory. <laughs> So then, but we thought, you know, we'll still give it a shot. So when it was time that our house was going to start getting viewings, my daughter was going to take all the cats and have them stay with her for like a week or until the house sold. But not even one full day. Like she was afraid to go to bed <laughs> and leave them alone. So we went and got them and... So now we just put them, we went out and got this, for the first time we went out with them, we had them in what used to be our dog's crate, and we put the crate in the back of the truck and we were driving around. And they did not like it. It was better than going to, to my daughter's house, but they still didn't like it. So then we got this nice carrier and just put it in the cab part of the truck because the crate wouldn't fit in the cab part. It would have to go like outside in the back of the truck. So I don't blame them for not liking that. And then when we got the nice carrier and they got to be inside with us yesterday, they seemed to like that a lot better, which I don't blame them. 
and we had to go out again today and they seem so much happier and it's so much easier getting them adjusted like to calm down and be okay when they come back in the house. It's almost like they enjoy it now. <laughs> so they have been very good. But I think they can already tell when we're getting ready to leave. <laughs> Which I find quite amusing. You know, we start putting certain things out, putting certain things away. And it's like, oh no, not this again. <laughs> bit more of that color to show. Gonna have to clean off my mat after. I am having a good time. I am licking it. I don't feel like carnation is right for this. I'm not a huge cheddar fan. I don't feel like probably would look good with it, but I'm gonna hold off. I love blushing, but I don't feel, you know. I don't know. I'm not used to using this color at all. I think I'm going to have to test this one. Oh. I haven't used this one yet. I'm going to test on some scrap paper first. See what it's like. I don't know. It's so dark. But I like it. That is gorgeous. I love it. I've used that one yet. I'm going to have to come back in with this one maybe with some accents. What am I doing guys? My background that has a fair amount of coverage. I always get so messy when I'm gel printing.
this space was nice and clean for viewings. Um, I'm actually going to have to clean up. <laughs> but that is okay. I know I'm going to get a lot of that orange though. Let's see that. So when we move, I'm going to have to design a new art space. So if you guys have any things that you've seen that you think would be an amazing addition to an art space, like a great way to organize something, um, you know, just great storage ideas, decorating ideas, then please let me know. Like my island will still be used of course, but my next room I want to have like my island for standing and arting, but then I also want to have a place where I can sit and art. Because I find with collage I tend to like to sit more than stand. And gel printing and stuff like that, I like to be standing. But yeah, I think it's mostly just collage that I like to be sitting for. Or sometimes, you know, you're just so tired but you want to play. So it's nice to have a sitting option. <laughs> done. I don't know how much of a difference there is with sand. We shall see. Or did I already use it? I don't know. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? What a gorgeous print. Print. I love the color. I gotta hold that up. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. That is one from Keisha. Sometimes you can't tell how beautiful they are. Like just looking at the art for me itself, like you wouldn't no, it is so amazing. Like I would just think, eh, whatever. <laughs> but then you see it printed out and it's like, wow. It's a big wow. I think. Like, I love it. Love it, love it. Go in 
with um, use your words Denise <laughs> darker colors and um, just like accent like art foamies sort of thing you know what I mean like the writing and like these guys and whatever else I may decide to use It's been so long since I gel printed. So long. And then when I finally do, it's like, why did I wait so long? Why? Oh. Look at that. That makes my heart happy. Oh. Like this stuff. Love it. Okay. So I use that one for my palette. Put this one off to the side. Hmm. I want a circle. <laughs> Like a little child. I want a circle. My husband was here now. He'd tell you a story about me in an airport wanting a sandwich, being tired and hungry. <laughs> He's not here, so you don't get to hear it. <laughs> it's funny, but it doesn't make me look good. <laughs> if what he says is true, I behaved a little bit like a child, but it's hilarious, and we make fun of it all the time. Oh yeah, I'm looking for a circle. There's this great big thing, but... This is a Rebecca Meyer, I think like coffee stain or something like that. I think I have some of my art foamies packed away. Yep. Because I have some, I think, Art by Marlene ones that probably would have worked, but I feel like this is too big. I have some that I made. It's not an art for me, but that's small though. I think that's too small. And I have that that I made. I must have something. go with a Dina Wakely stencil, even though it's not exactly what I want. Don't you just love it when you have something stuck in your head that you're picturing? I don't 
do I want night or marine? Go with night. Sorry if you were shouting marine. Oh, that's not gonna come out. I find it so weird to art without music or a show playing in the background. And I have no idea what parts are going to show because this has to be folded and cut yet. So I'm not going to go too crazy with adding extra things because like this thing for example I think I would want this to stand out on a page in entirety or most of it. So that was Wheels by Dina Wakely. I'll try to remember to link that one since I do know what exactly I used. hard for me not to want to use night for everything, but that wouldn't be very interesting. That syrup scares me. It really does. I have to try it. And I said I was going to try and add some of that, possibly some more Sedona. And if I, I'm going to save the Sedona for a fire hydrant because that is definitely going on a page somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to use syrup with this one. See, I wanted to say it was a Balzer Designs, but I don't know. Kind of feeling Kat Kerr. Because she used to be with Art Foamies before she went with Joggles. I don't know. Could be wrong on both. One feels a bit watery. And I shouldn't have did the whole thing. I got way too much paint. 
it. This is definitely not going to be only one video. It's not so bad. <laughs> See, don't be scared to use certain colors. Like eggplant. Where's my cursive? See, it doesn't want to come out. It knows it's not super loved. Oh my goodness. Don't think that's going to be enough. <laughs> nope. Didn't even show up. Should I be taking that as a sign? <laughs> it's on there now. I am going to stop and fold and cut my zine. So I think I'll save the folding and cutting for part two. This is what we have so far. Woohoo! Totally not where I thought it was gonna go. Like, it was kind of the idea I had, but not the colors that I thought I would use. So, I will be back with part two. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.